Hey guys, Vladimir here with another Fusion 360 tip. I've been working on this US flag design, which I plan to actually make using my desktop CNC. Um, so I'm actually gonna mill this out of wood. Um, but as I was working on the design, I realized that this would be a really great project to teach all about patterns in Fusion 360. So basically everything about this design was made using patterns. Uh, for the stripes, I made one and then used a rectangular pattern to pattern in one direction. And for the stars, I made one and then patterned it in two directions. Even to sketch out the stars, let me open up the sketch here. Um, the way I approached that was I made one arm and then applied a circular pattern to complete the star. So I thought it would be a really great design to actually teach all about patterns. So what I'm going to do is actually uh, finish up the entire step-by-step -step tutorial and I'll be uploading this uh, the whole project to my website at desktopmakes.com where you can find it under the all access plan along with all my other projects and uh, design courses. Uh, but for today's uh, little tip, what I decided to do was just to take a snippet from what's gonna be the full tutorial and show you guys how to use the circular pattern tool to make the stars as I did here. So, all right, let's go ahead and jump right in. I want to begin by pointing out that you have pattern tools within your sketch menu. So if I click on sketch, you can see I can go down to circular pattern or rectangular pattern down here. But you also have pattern tools within your create menu. So if I open that up, you can see I can go to pattern and I have rectangular pattern, circular pattern, and pattern on a path. But the main thing to take out of this is you want to use your sketch menu when you're in that 2D sketching mode. So if you want to pattern a line or a circle, for example, you're going to choose your sketch menu here. Now, once you stop that sketch and you're in your 3D environment, you would then choose your create menu uh, and go down to pattern. And in here, you have the options of patterning, for example, a body, a component, or a face. Uh, I just wanted to briefly point that out because I know it's confusing for beginners um, when they start off and they create a sketch and they want to pattern it. And instead of going to the sketch menu, a lot of times they'll go to the create menu to try to pattern uh, that particular uh, sketch entity. Uh, so keep in mind here that you have two different menus here. Uh, that allow you to pattern whether you're in 2D sketching mode uh, or you're actually in the 3D environment. Okay, let me show you how I use the circular pattern tool to create my stars. We'll start a new design by clicking on this little plus sign here. And let's begin by creating a sketch. So we'll go to sketch, create sketch, and I'm going to choose my ZX plane. We'll start with a center diameter circle. So we'll go back to up to sketch, and I'm going to go down to circle center diameter circle. I'm going to just start the circle anywhere here. I already have the dimensions I want to use, so I'm going to drag this out and enter eight millimeters for my diameter. Hit enter twice and let's zoom in so our circle takes up our whole screen here. All right, now let's grab the polygon tool by going back to the sketch menu, grabbing the polygon and down to uh, or over to circumscribe polygon. We're going to draw this polygon right on the center of our circle, so I'm going to click once release and start moving this up. And I'm going to change the number of sides here from 6 to 5 by tabbing over. Once I see my number highlighted, I'm going to make that a 5. And I'm just going to hit enter. Uh, I'm not going to worry about that dimension. I'm going to add that in in a second. Okay, first thing I want to do is just make sure this top here is straight. So I'm going to grab my horizontal constraint and go ahead and select it to make sure that that straightens out. And now I'm going to hit D for dimension. And I'm going to dimension between my point here to this uh, outer point here, that little edge, and I'm going to make that 1.5 millimeters and hit enter. All right, now that I have that, I'm going to turn everything into a construction line. So I'm going to choose my circle, make that a construction line, double click on my polygon, I'm going to make that a construction line as well. Click on a blank space just to get uh, out of the construction line mode. And now I'm going to grab uh, the line tool by going to sketch down to line uh, right here, the first one down. And I'm just going to draw two lines, one going from this edge straight out to the circle, and then the second line going from this edge here out to meet my first line. All right, now I'll hit Escape, and I'm going to go to Sketch. Notice I'm in my sketching mode, so I want to use my sketch menu to grab my circular pattern tool. I get this dialog box where for my objects, I'm just going to select these two lines. And then my center point, I'm going to click to select that. I can either choose the perimeter of my circle or the actual center point. And all I have to do now is increase the quantity to 5 and then click OK. 
and I have my star. So now I'm going to stop sketch and I can take that star, select it, go to create, extrude, you know, go ahead and extrude this up and there is my star made using the circular pattern tool. All right, I hope you enjoyed that little quick tip. Next week, I'm gonna talk about creating patterns, but in the 3D space instead of the 2D space. So we'll talk about creating patterns of bodies instead of sketch lines. And I'm also gonna to touch on instances when you wanna use pattern on a path as opposed to circular patterns. So if you're enjoying this content, make sure to subscribe so you can see my future tutorials. All right, guys, I'll see you next week.